Ole Miss is home to many things, including the only legally grown marijuana crop in our nation. And a new development there is creating quite a buzz tonight. Faculty and student researchers say they've created a new pain reliever in the form of a patch. Action News 5's Janice Broach joins us now with the story you'll see only on Fox. This here, just touching the smell, is really is a wonderful smell. Dr. Mahmoud El Soli is a faculty member at the School of Pharmacy at Ole Miss. He and his team have been working inside this lab for nearly seven years to find alternative uses for THC, the main psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. The plant itself has a great potential for good medicines coming out of the cannabis plant, but certainly not in smoking of the drug. You heard him. He is not a fan of legalizing pot, but he is a fan of his newest creation, a pot pain reliever in the form of a patch that is placed over the gum line in patients who have problems taking the drug in pill form. In addition to pain, it will include things like reducing the intraocular pressure and therefore would be good for, for glaucoma, would be good for alleviating the nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy will also be good for uh, appetite stimulation. Formulas were first screened in rabbits, then pigs. Dr. El Soli believes the right formula will lead to testing in humans. So we're not, not really introducing anything strange to the body other than the THC itself. We are just having to make it so that we make it possible to be absorbed through the mucosa. More than 77,000 samples were prepared for analysis on this project. Early tests show the patch can work for up to 10 hours. Because of the way it's absorbed, it's almost like absorbed from the lungs, right? like the smoke. When you smoke, it goes from the lungs to the whole entire body before going to the liver. Unlike the oral, it goes to the liver first and then goes to the rest of the body. The patch grew out of earlier experiments Dr. El Soli says didn't go over so well. He first tried making a pot suppository. Jay Leno was, you know, had it on, on his show when we first came up with the product and say, you know, that researcher at Ole Miss uh, has developed a way to... Uh, to, uh, to, to administer, you know, marijuana by suppository. You know how he come up with this idea? Uh, they say, how? And he said, well, he was smoking a joint, and then he saw the cups and he went. Janice Broach, Action News 5. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ole Miss has not used its outdoor marijuana field since the year 2007. Instead, everything is grown in a lab, which is under 24-hour surveillance by the DEA. Research on the pot patch got its kickstart thanks to a national grant. You can learn more about it at WMCTV.com, Ursula.